शुद्धो बुद्धो विमुक्त सुदिशिखर गिरा मुख्यतात्पर्यभूमि यस्मात समस्त जगदिदमृताप्यसर्व स्थिधो यशावतार सुरनरवनजैरक्षित मुकुंद हृदयगतमल कृष्णमे प्रभद्ये तम भूमा मुकुंद हृदयगतमल कृष्णमे प्रभद्ये मदीय हृदयाकाशे सदानंदमयो गुरु उदे तो सतत सम्यक स्वात्मानंद प्रबोधक हरि 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 ओम तत्स जय गुरु जय गुरु एज यूशल वी शल हैव थ्री टाइम्स ओम करा जॉइन रिसाइटेशन by which we propose to reach all the surface of the earth and shower the benedictions of our joint recitation on all beings on the earth have this expansion actually we are discussing the expansive character nature of the presence that animates our body interlock your fingers and put them on your lap sit comfortably erect close your eyes open the heart and the mind and join me oh Janaka raised three questions, and the first question has already been answered by Sage Ashtavakra. Now I would like to know. I had discussed this question and also the answer yesterday. How many of you introspected over what you heard? Can you lift your hands? very poor assembly i think we are worse than janagas <laughs> you have come here only to hear <coughs> and after hearing if you are not introspecting what is the use of this discussion you did not find anything useful to introspect was it not a good exposure where from will you get this exposure it is not easy at all you know when Vivekananda Swami was asked by Ramakrishna Deva, his Guru Dev, to read Ashtavakra Samhita. He re- he would read two slokas and keep it down because Vivekananda was a Brahma Samajist, so he did not appreciate the exposition of Ashtavakra Samhita, Ashtavakra Sage. Then Ramakrishna Dev used to tell him. you don't read it for you read it for me i want you to read it and i want to hear so he would take the book and read just imagine 
even the so called swami vivekananda he himself was not able to read it and appreciate it but i tell you it is all joy and joy and joy alone discussed there but the question is you must be a human secondly you must be intelligent thirdly you must be sincere you must have the innocence on the one hand and what shall i say devoutness on the other to listen to the exposition only through this exposition it makes you realize the self no sadhana is involved actually speaking this exposition listening to it absorbing it that itself is the sadhana so i am making you a sa- making you each a sadhaka or a sadhika by discussing this subject let us proceed further <coughs> so i am not encouraged by the fact that many of you or most of you did not introspect over what you heard now today what are you going to do you will drop all that you have heard here in this hall and then go ha huh? no there also the response is very weak <coughs> see the whole world consists of pancha bhutas four five elements we call them elements in english whatever has become it is called a bhuta whatever has become it is called a bhuta like that we have basic five bhutas the solid earth the fluid water the gaseous air the brilliant and hot fire and the indescribable space nothing besides these are is there in the whole creation now <clears throat> janaka was told and i am telling you janaka and ashtavakara were in treta yuga now i am telling you that you are not the earth one part is over you are not water the sea another part is over you are not the air one more part you are not fire the fourth part the fifth part is you are not the space you tell me what is there left aside in this world you are not this this assertion is made this revelation is made on the basis of our experience tell me are you the earth are you the fire no are you the space no so you are not any of these and your body is made up of these panch bhutas if you are different from the panch bhutas are you not equally different from the panch bhautik body yes yes or no yes yes or no yes yes or no yes can i trust you for the answer you give yes when a dead body is burned is the body burned or the soul burned they are burning the body being sure that the person who was living giving us the idea of livingness is not there otherwise he will be, they will be considered a murderer where are you going to understand that you are not the body i want you to realize it here and now i am not the panch bhutas which constitute the world nor am i the panch bhutas which constitute my body now this realization or this exposition i ask you will it escape your mind and attention no yeah. yeah this is not an answer from an assembly let me stop this discourse every one of you should answer yes or no no will this realization drop from you no ah, how many people said no please stand up who are the people who did not say do you have at least that sincerity let me ask you please stand up who did not answer me to such an audience you want me to talk <laughs> i am very disappointed i 
I am seeing this paper. Am I the paper? No. I am seeing the ceiling. Am I the ceiling? No. Similarly, I am seeing the world. Am I the world? No. I am seeing my body. Am I the body? No. Where do you want to go to further? To understand that you are not the body. This is Hindu reason, Hindu rationality. You think it is all puja, idol and worship. When you go in the advanced levels, even as Krishna speaks to Uddhava, I was writing a commentary here. Our Unnikrishna was by my side. I don't know whether he remembers it. Where is he? Do you remember? I told you, Unnikrishna, the whole of Hinduism is ultimately absolutely refined logic and reason. Logic and reason. You remember? <coughs> we are not mere believers. We are understanders. We are knowers. We are experiencers. What are you saying? You call yourself a human? And you don't use your intelligence. Like animals, we are only using the senses and a few emotions. Then what for is our intelligence? Tell me, can you ever realize God outside your body? No. If God were to come and stand before us asking us to see, will he be our object or will he be, will he be the I? He will be the object. As the world is not we, the God who comes and stands before us also is not we. He is different. If God can come and stand before me, will he be all pervasive? No. Huh? No. Then how dare he come saying that I am God? <laughs> what is this? Understand what is this wonderful philosophy of India? <clears throat> if we are not the earth, not water, not air, not fire, and not space, then what is their left side? We are not. In the same manner, we are not our body. This is the understanding that you should get. I have a body, but I am not the body. I have a body, but I am not the body. Even I have a body, it is a notion that your mind creates. So do you have a body or you only have a notion that you have a body? Notion. Notion. Where are you looking to? You should be confident enough Bold enough, innocent enough to say. Tell me whether your body is actually a notion or it has got a separate existence. It is a notion. That is why at the end of every day, at the end of the wakefulness, the mind obliterates, wipes off all the 16 hour interactions and their impacts just in an instant. Push. Can the mind wipe off a solid object? Only because it is an ocean, it is able to wipe off all interactional impacts in you. Are you able to understand me? Yes. Huh? Yes. Then you should nod your head or say yes. Then only it becomes a participative discussion. Otherwise I will go on speaking for my own ears to hear. I want you to be involved in the discussion. <coughs> the entire Panjabhudas are either matter or energy. Either matter or energy. You are a living presence. As a living presence, can you become matter? No. Can you become energy? No. Are you not clearly different? So understand that you are the sentient presence in your body. Just like heat is there in a hot iron rod, 
in our panjabhaudik body we are present there is a presence that presence is what you call sentience s e n t i e n c what are the other words i can use for it it is the power of comprehension the power of the power of cognition the power of perception the power of experience matter and energy do not have this power <clears throat> it is that sentient presence which animates and activates the body when i see all of you am i seeing dead bodies or am i seeing living bodies living bodies you don't understand what i say and what you say i am seeing living bodies so when i look at your body what is the impression i get i comprehend the living presence in you so am i looking at the body or sensing the livingness in you livingness. so am i looking at an object no i am looking at the livingness the living presence in the body suppose the bodies were not living all of you will have to be taken to the cremation ground so i am not seeing a dead body i am seeing the living presence in the body not the body at all maybe the eyes see the body but the intelligence comprehends the inner presence in that way when you look at anything and everything what comes to your cognition or comprehension is 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 not the visual sight but where the sight and comprehension occur anything that you look at you are looking at it as the looker as the seer that seer is not an object he is not a matter seeing is an expression of the seer that seer is neither matter nor energy seeing is his process so my very vision is actually spiritual or material spiritual ha huh? spiritual can you keep this understanding my dear souls once the idea is explained to you you must be able to absorb it and spend as much time as you want so that you know it well <coughs> you have to know you have to know that i am not the body only i have the notion that i have the body i am not the world but i have an idea of the world a notion of the world ideas are notions ideas and notions are created by created by not by the senses and the body but by the mind so we are always having notions 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 that you have a child is a notion that you are married is a notion that you have a house is a notion the house cannot talk to you you look at the house and you say this is my house everything belongs to the my and mine category never to the i category <clears throat> now how to pursue this knowledge when pursuing the knowledge it becomes sadhana so i am actually conducting a sadhana making all of you do it this session is actually a sadhana session what is that sadhana says ashtavakra answers yadi deham prathakritya chiti vishramya tishthasi adhunaiva sukhi shanto bandha mukto bhavishyasi i wish my dear souls all of you understand what i speak what is the sadhana first of all janaka was told by ashtavakra that you are not the earth not water nor air nor fire nor space then what are you you are the one 
who looks at them. It is not a negative statement. He negated the entire world, the entire Panjabhudas. He negated. Now, after negating it, he says, what are you? When you were looking at the earth, earth alone was there or you were looking? When you looked at water, water alone was there or you were looking? Similarly, with all other Bhutas, you were the looker. Without you, the looker or perceiver, the percep perceptible object will not be there. Now, which is the first? The object perceived or the subject perceiver, I? The I is the first. And that is what survives the perception also. So don't think that you are disconnected with the eye. The entire world when you look at, you are the looker. You are the perceiver. And the perceiving process is inside the body. It is never outside the body. The perceiver and the perceiving process. Then the outcome of perception. When you use the senses, don't think that it is an external process. No! The senses have no ability to see at all. It is the mind that employs the senses. If mind is internal, mind employing the senses is internal, and the mind's perceiving process and perception, are they not internal? Yes. Yes. Is there anything taking place at the sensory or bodily level? No. Yes or no? What is the harm if you say no? <laughs> you block your receptivity by not saying. No point in hearing. You see, when you don't express, the idea doesn't come to you. You are creating a wall. You think that I will not say yes. That means you will remain a fool. Your ignorance can never go. You are blocking the door of understanding. You are blocking the door of entry. <coughs> he says, what is the sadhana? Understand that the whole pursuit is mento intellectual. You are all seated here. Using the intelligence, I talk to you. Using the eardrums, you are hearing me. For you, the whole process is internal, internal, internal. In my case, at least the tongue is moving, mouth is moving, physical. In your case, nothing is moving. Maybe you are looking at me. You can close your eyes. The sound will enter your eardrum, generate the necessary understanding in the brain center. It is an inner process. This process is sadhana. Understand it. What is to be done? Yadi Dayaham Prathakritya. Janaka, Janaka, this is a voyage of knowledge. Where is the knowledge? Inside. Where is the voyage? Inside. inside. So, inside. In your inside, inside of the body, separate the body. Yadi Dayaham Prathakritya. You are not the body. Body is only a notion that you have. In that notion making mind, separate the body. The notion belongs to the mind. The notion is not generated by the body. Even in saying and knowing that I am the body, you are only using the mind. So when in the level of understanding, in the plane of understanding, you separate the body. Chidi Vishramya Tishta. Chidi Vishramya Tishtasi. After separating the body, what will happen? There will only be consciousness that makes the notion. If the notion is left, the notion producing consciousness is there. In that consciousness, you have your rest. Chiti Vishramya Tishtasi Adhunaiva Sukhi Shanto 
this very moment you will become comfortable delightful peaceful bandha mukto bhavishyasi you will become liberated from bondage when this very moment liberation is not for the body liberation is what the mind feels or the intelligence knows when you understand my body is a notion it is a notion alone and the notion is lurking within the body not in the material or energial sphere domain but in the consciousness domain what do i become i become the consciousness take your rest there not the physical rest but the deliberating individual that ego rest adhunaiva sukhi shanto bandha mukto bhavishyasi this very moment you will become free what for is freedom your mind will become free your intelligence will become free the ego the ego will become free everything is a notion the notion is a product of the mind mind is the source of the notion once you understand that it is a mental notion you can leave the notion yadi deham prasakritya inside in your mind in the level of the intelligence say definitely that i am not the body i am only a witness of the body as i am a witness of the earth i am also a witness of my hand of my body everything when i look at the wall i am not the wall when you look at my own out my own hand i don't become the hand so i am separate to understand this tell me where do you have to go to ha huh? what are you waiting for death what are you waiting for yadi deham prathakritya chiti vishramya tishtasi adhunaiva sukhi shanto the sukha will not come after a gap it comes instantly because the only disturbing element in you is ignorance you feel that you are born you feel that you are growing you feel what what feeling correct the feeling i am not the body my mind is not the body you will agree so if the mind is not the body where you have the notions that i notion that is also not the body to think like this what is your problem you are afraid this is to make your life comfortable easy and poised you have a feeling that this is you say my body when you say my body it is evident that you are not the body if it is my body my hand my eyes my mind my intelligence my ego none of these things am i so by your very references you admit that it is within your knowledge that the world is not you are not the world you are not the body you are not the mind nor the intelligence nor the ego very clear still i is there what is that i different from the world different from the body different from the mind different from the intelligence different from the ego what is that i that is what i am all your troubles are from where from the world from where from your body from where from your mind from where from your intelligence from where from your ego if you are not all these the troubles created by them can they survive no 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 answer no see by the power of knowledge by the application of knowledge we have this associated from everything that we know of the world the body the mind the intelligence and the ego so it is distinct 
and it is only the witness when you are happy it witnesses the happiness when you are unhappy it witnesses the unhappiness when you are sick it witnesses the sickness so is it not already free பேச மாட்டான் என்ன திருட்டுது நம்ம பா இட் இஸ் டிஃபரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஆல் அண்ட் இட் ஓன்லி விட்னஸஸ் த விட்னஸ் கேன் நெவர் பிகம் த விட்னஸ்ட் அண்ட் த விட்னஸ்ட் கேன் நெவர் பிகம் த விட்னஸ் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் யூ டு டூ அபவுட் இட் நத்திங் நத்திங் so what is the sadhana the sadhana is an inner process where the mind and the intelligence are employed they are asked to say are you the body they will say no i am not the body i have a body now tell me are you the mind no are you the intelligence no are you the ego no then what is your problem all our problems are created by these and you are not any of them you are only witnessing when you are comfortable you say i am comfortable witnessing when you are uncomfortable you will witness it so you are the witness will your witness position any time change no no it cannot and it will not change whatever change is there it witnesses if you are really so my dear souls do you have any problem by so saying are you running away no we become prepared to deal with any problem we become prepared to deal with the entire life becomes easy the heaviness is gone the desire is gone if you have a desire you are the witness of the desire if your desire is fulfilled you become a witness to that fulfillment in the witness level no change no oscillation no transformation mind you you have intelligence this is a knowledge that i am discussing in the level of the intelligence for your intelligence to grasp to grasp then absorb assimilate when the food is assimilated by the stomach what happens it becomes blood such is the power of assimilation absorption of the intestines the stomach in the same manner when this knowledge is assimilated what will happen it becomes part of you it becomes your nature you are only realizing the witness i you did not know that there was an i then you came to know there is an i thereafter you know that it is the only witness and it is witness alone you cannot change it at all tell me now what is your duty as a witness you do whatever you want never get involved oh i did it and i am in trouble never say that you did it you are, if you are in trouble you are a witness to that trouble try to resolve it you will be a witness remaining a witness trying to resolve the trouble most probably it will be resolved you will be a witness then if it is not resolved even then you are a witness it's a wonderful position what do you want me to do to make this separation inner separation separate the body if you separate the body idea from you what remains is consciousness and have your rest on the consciousness what shall i do to make you do this introspection and enable you to separate the body idea and get to do the source of all ideas source of all ideas source of all memory everything is within you within you you all say i think i think the mind thinks what does the mind think suppose i fill water in a bottle without an air bubble i close it 
and shake the bottle. Will the water shake? Puri le lair ke jaldi the. Ha? Will the water shake? The mind or the consciousness is animating the body. That animating consciousness is full in the body. So will it ever vibrate or shake? No. Then what do you mean by thought? Is it a product like a mud pot made out of clay, the source? Is thought a product which the mind has made and it is stacking here and there? You have already made trillions of thoughts. Are all of them stocked within your body? Is there any space? So some thought appeared to be and it has disappeared. So when you are worrying about your memory and thought process, are you not worrying about something that is non-existent? Yes. Our mind has got capacity to think. So it thinks. I love, I love it to think. By flowing, is the water damaged? No. By blowing, is the wind affected? No. By shedding brilliance, is the source affected? I love it. You think you understand that I am the witness. In all the thought processes, what did you do? You did nothing. You allowed the thought processes and you are remaining as a witness. And the witness, you, you are worried about the thoughts. You are not involved in them. Now itself you will become liberated. This is what Ashtavakra says. <clears throat> Leave everything else and remain focused, remain focused in the witness I. Is it clear to you? Yes. Shall I go to the next verse? Yes. Or again explain this? Natvam vipradi govarno nashrami naksha gojaraha Asango si nidagaro vishwasakshi sukhi bhava Ba Natvam vipradi govarno We have got apparently four varnas Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra He says you are none of these Nashrami Like that you are not an ashrami also Neither Brahmachari, nor Grihastha, nor Vanaprastha, nor Sanyasi. Asangosi. You are unaffected, unaffected, not attached to anything. Our body is full of oxygen, air is there. Is the air pervading in all the different bodies, is it affected by the body? Hmm? No. Tell me. No. What about the heat present in our body? Is it affected? No. Then do you think mind will be affected? No. It is more subtle than air. Such a mind which is pervading the whole body, will it be affected? No. Then why are you saying? You are not thinking and understanding what is present in your body. That is your problem. This body is already consisting of solid matter, fluid matter, gaseous matter, hot matter and inner space. So it is full. In that full body, matter, energy, full body, mind is present. So is not the mind subtler than all the five? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Will that mind be affected? Air is not affected, water is not affected, water to some extent is affected, but space is not affected. Then how can mind be affected? Please stop saying that I have been hurt by a thought. I have been hurt by a word. Never say that. Your body may be affected. Go to the doctor. If your mind is affected, sit and meditate. Redress the affectation. My dear mind, are you not subtle? Yes. Will you be affected? Think and tell me. Tell the mind. 
न त्वं विप्रादिगोवर्णो नाश्रमी आर यू विद मी आई आई डोंट थिंक नाक्ष गोचर यू आर नॉट समबडी विच विल बी परसेप्टिबल टू द आईज द बॉडी इज विजिबल टेल मी वेदर यूर माइंड इज विजिबल इंटेलिजेंस इज विजिबल then how can the i be visible if you are not a visible visible representation can you be a brahmana kshatriya vaishya or shudra no can you be a brahmachari no grihastha no vanaprastha or sanyasa sanyasi no. then what are you i am different from all these i am different from all these pa wow, what a great relaxation मुझे कुछ नहीं होगा कुछ नहीं होगा मैं कौन हूं हूं वाला हूं हूं वाला हूं आई एम द एमनेस इन मी एमनेस इन मी दैट इज वाई आई से आई एम सिख आई वॉज सिख आई एम एक्सिस्टिंग दैट एमनेस नाश्रमी नाक्ष गोचर असंगोज यू आर नॉट अटैच टू टाइट टू इन्वॉल्व इन एनीथिंग निराकारो यू हैव नो फॉर्म टेल मी वेदर यू हैव ए फॉर्म यूर बॉडी इज फॉर्म्ड इज द माइंड फॉर्म्ड इज द इंटेलिजेंस फॉर्म्ड देन आर यू देन द आई फॉर्म्ड हाँ The sound has come down. <laughs> I can only laugh at you. <laughs> See, when I progressively take you, you should say, "The body is formed. Is the mind formed? No. Is the intelligence formed? No. What about the I? No. You should say instead of saying no. it is my faith that i have this kind of students <laughs> but in any way i am not affected by that <laughs> if you are totally as a see you are unattached you are formless form free vishwa sakshi say this word at least विश्व साक्षी विश्व साक्षी यू आर ए परसीवर ऑफ द होल यूनिवर्स आर यू देन ए फैमिली मेंबर यूर बॉडी में बी ए मेंबर ऑफ द फैमिली बट द बॉडी विदाउट द आई इज यूजलेस एंड द आई इज ऑफ ए यूनिवर्सल डायमेंश वॉट it does in want riches nor is it affected by poverty it is not troubled by ignorance nor is it going to be enriched by knowledge it is beyond all concepts that you can think of all conditions that you can imagine all states that you can be concerned about my dear souls this much is the wisdom of man this is what his intelligence is meant to evolve for him there is a proverb a man is judged not by what he has but by what he is try to belong to this category of what he is not what he has you may have property you may have family you may have children you may have influence but all these are up to what the i doesn't need anything it is a witness of all this it doesn't need food that is why some of the sanyasins are able to live in the forest without any food and drink the breath is sufficient for them when you come to that level of austerity the air carries everything that is in this world but we don't have a stomach to digest air See the whole process is inner. 
all my questions are addressed to your intelligence and you answer so it is an inner process that is taking place through this inner process all the correction that you need all the transformation that we want all the experience and becoming that we are looking to everything will take place that is why we give a mantra and ask the disciple to chant it do nothing else don't pour a spoon of water don't take a petal of a flower the entire flower and water all are this mantra chant it chant it several hours of the day not 5 minutes 2 minutes 20 minutes etc several hours of the day only one the transformation is inner let the constricted understanding drop constricted understanding stop drop and the comprehensiveness let it dawn be fortunate my dear souls be fortunate let your mind be comprehensive universal have feelings for the people love them be sympathetic to them make whatever little sacrifice you can for the sake of others even for your family members our growing children initially the mother has been doing all for the children when they grow they should be able to love the mother be sympathetic to her and take away whatever they can from mother's work but our children are not like that they are not taught i always say when the children grow as a part of their group you sometimes ask their friends to come home and let the child live with the friends making ample sacrifices and adjustments it's a very good training are you doing it no in our curriculum it is not there we only have selfishness selfishness familiness familiness that's all what we have we don't have an expanse this trouble cannot be attributed to us because we have no family otherwise you will attribute it to us <laughs> we are as a, we are a trust whatever whatever offerings are made by the others into the trust they are only to be spent and spent for who for the society not for us we take our living expenses that's all everything that comes is only to be spent and spent where for whom unlike you not for the family our family becomes the whole world vasudhai va kutumba so the constriction should stop you will start feeling a sense of abundance ningal ottukaradilla naan solradhu ennathinalle theriyuma you are not fated to grow that is why you don't say yes enakku paavatha tharungom tharugom seli vaangina enna seyradha pa what can i do see when you say yes your mind expands when you don't say yes it remains constricted yeah. you are great is the loss colossal loss you are suffering from i have great sympathy but my sympathy is deserted <laughs> <clears throat> there is a sense of abundance abundance it overwhelms your mind and intelligence a sense of abundance a sense of fullness can you imagine your dimension you are vishwa sakshi id jnabakam chugala nalu varthai vishwa sakshi you say when friends are who are you i am a vishwa sakshi tell them i am a vishwa sakshi i am a witness of the universe as a witness of the universe tell me what is your dimension don't you become instantly infinite yes ha huh? yes we are all called what 
Martya. Martya means he who dies. But actually we are amartyas. We are deathless. At the time of birth, we have a body which is mortal. But the spirit that inlays the body, animates the body, is immortal. So we are born with a twofold crown. The body gives you mortal crown and the inner presence gives you immortal crown. Oh. Alas, people don't see this, understand this. No father is there, no mother is there to teach us this. My dear child, you have an immortal crown. The body is mortal, but the soul is immortal. That is also within you. Never say I shall die. Never be fearful about death. Who will die? Body will die. Let body be concerned about it. <clears throat> this is a sadhana done by the mind and the intelligence. The result of it is psychological sufficiency, intellectual fullness. I don't like to use the word in, intell, intellect in this sense. So I always say intelligential, intelligential, abundance. You can feel it. In the same way as people say I am poor, you will be able to say I am abundant. I am abundant. Bury the language of shortage, negative, etc. I am not asking you to grow bodily dangerous. I am only asking you to grow mentally, inwardly. Be graceful, be loving, be cool, be comfortable, be serene and be special. Another? Special. special. You have got W-E-L-L, -L, well mind, where a few frogs alone are there. <laughs> Grow into the tank level. Grow into the lake level. Grow into the sea dimension and grow into the spatial dimension. Agashavalepavidurakoham Like the sky, I am infinite and I can never be tainted. Tainted. I am taintless. Your body may have a scar, but your mind will not have a scar. Even if the mind has got a psychological difficulty, the, the thing above it, it will never have. No action takes place in the eye level. And no effect of any kind befalls there. It is immune to everything. And this is in you by the glory of human birth. You don't have to beg for it. My dear soul, this is a philosophy of fullness, a philosophy of abundance, an instruction to make you realize the fullness and abundance and the ecstasy of these. You know, Janaka was absorbing whatever was said. Janaka was absorbing whatever was said. And he was feeling every time the impact of Ashtavakra's instruction. Shall I proceed? Yes. Dharma dharma sukham dukham manasani na te vibho na kartasi na bhoktasi mukta evasi sarvada. What is this? Dharma dharma chulungo. Dharma dharma. Sukham dukham. Sukham dukham. Manasani. Manasani. Na te vibho. Na te vibho. Na kartasi. Na kartasi. Na bhoktasi. Na bhoktasi. Mukta evasi. Mukta evasi. 
Sarvada. You know what is the meaning? Dharma, dharma. Dharma and dharma. Propriety and impropriety. Sukham, dukham. Happiness and misery. Manasadi. All these are mental. Mind born. Mind subsisting. They are all mind born. They emerge and subside in the mind. Nate vibho. You don't have these. They are surfacing in the mind. Whether it is right or wrong, or happiness or misery. Therefore, na kartasi. You are not a doer or a performer. Na bhoktasi. You are not an enjoyer or a sufferer. Then what are you? Mukta evasi. You are the liberated alone. Are you ascending along with my words? Yes. Or? Dharma, dharma. Both are concepts. Sukham, dukham. Both are experiences in the mind level. So they only have the mind level. They cannot go beyond it. Manasani, nate vipo. Suppose there is a wound that it is bleeding. Can you say my mind is bleeding? No. Will you say my intelligence is bleeding? No. Then how can you say the eye is bleeding? My body is bleeding. That's okay. Manasani nate vipo. Therefore, many things may take place in the mind level. Many things may take place in the sensory level. What of it to you, Janaka? You are, you are different from and transcending these. In that I level, Mukta Eva Si Sarvada. You are always liberated alone. Don't try for liberation, but realize your liberatedness. Cut short everything. Cut short everything. Leave everything. Focus only on the witness. You are liberated because you are not the body. Only when the body emerges from the mother's womb, people say that somebody is born, is it not? Yes. So birth is whose derivative? Body is derivative. If you are not the body, then were you born? That is why you have no experience of birth. Is there anybody in this assembly who says, I was born? Have you experienced your birth? No. Will you experience your death? No. Then why are you afraid of them? <laughs> Greatest fools we are. Show me one man who has died. Who will come and report, I died and I am here. <laughs> Please don't give me any food in the form of Shraddha. Because I have no body, I cannot eat. <clears throat> you are not the body. How can it bind you then with ideas of birth and death? Understand, understand, reflect upon, reflect upon. See, the electricity is being conducted through a copper conductor. And in many places we are fixing a bulb to it. So when it passes through the coil or whatever substance is there, it gives illumination. By this process, is electricity affected? No. Huh? Or it is amply made use of. In the same manner, the bulb is glowing. The bulb is glowing. Does it have any effect on the electricity? No. Does the electricity have any sangha for you? For the bulb? 
the bulb fuses sometimes it is taken away switched on and switched off electricity is still in its own manner you think of a cotton cloth dip it in water it has become wet strain it and then dry it up the water vaporizes and the cotton become it becomes the cotton cloth again by this process is the water affected then will the eye be affected no by anything no suppose somebody scolds you who scolds you somebody the sim here the sim let him hear him why are you feeling you are scolding my affect i am affected you refuse to accept then it goes back to him he should suffer why should you suffer <laughs> see the madness we have the confusion we have what is your trouble somebody has scolded me so who does the wrong he does the wrong and for his wrong you are crying <laughs> wonderful does water have any sangha for the cloth no similarly the eye has no sangha at all at all at all why don't you grasp this truth this is a truth this is a knowledge to be grasped by the intelligence intelligence is the only agency which can act upon the mind nothing in this world can act upon the mind ignorance 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 if that ignorance has to be removed knowledge has to be applied <clears throat> the question is actually understanding it very carefully understanding it very carefully you tell me now are you able to follow and grasp what i say yes if you have grasped it becomes your possession will you be true to your having grasped it yes if you are not true what shall i call you shall i call you a dishonest person yes. if you are honest you should be true to your understanding see i am not a reader right from the beginning but i have read you cannot say i have not read i have read but whenever i read first of all i could not find any interesting literature to read my there was a brother i had a brother who died at the age of one and a half years elder to me by 21 or so he died so one day he sat through the night and read charles dickens novel i was saying why did you wake up wake up for the whole night you could have done it so that was the time i had gone to calcutta i was not so familiar with english and all that so somehow one day, one day i decided i should read so i took charles dickens novel which novel i don't know is it david copperfield or something like that i tried my level best i read 200 pages and threw it away i could not read further this is my like so whatever i have read i have read to understand and whatever i have understood i have become and whatever i have become i wanted to be that this is my effort at understanding so when i am asking you have you understood yes will you be true to your understanding you have to answer yes. if you will be true to your understanding are you not liberated yes, yes. so you must say i am liberated <laughs> never seek liberation the i in you is already liberated you may fumble you may commit mistakes your steps may falter but the truth does not change so read it again hear it again these are days modern gadgets are available there is one lady in bangalore she had lost her son that is why the couple came to me now after some time i said you are a mother who gave birth to the child will it not take some time so after about 2 3 months she started smiling smiling 
and she used to get a copy of all my talks in Malayalam in Tushu. You know she is talking to the people now, online. And every time whatever shloka I say, she will repeat. Just see how things work. All of you are lazy. Suppose you learn a truth, you should honor it, worship it. You should be respectful to it, grateful to it. You will never become the witness. You are only the witness. So tell me what is your trouble. If you have trouble, you will be witnessing the trouble. Nothing will happen to you. So can you not be free and relaxed? Nobody nods. See? <laughs> can you not be free and relaxed? Yes. Be free. Be relaxed. You know, this, this, the impact of Sugadukhas will constantly dwindle. The sufferings will lose their density. It is such a wonderful knowledge. In front of light, can darkness prevail? No. Huh? You know there is no darkness? What? I say in the whole world there is no darkness. How do you say that you are dark? By looking into how oh, there is no light here. What is it darkness? So, with the eye to examine darkness, what should you do? With the eye, anything to be seen and examined, you should take light, is it not? Similarly, take light and go to where darkness is. Then what will happen? Will the darkness survive? No. Then what are you calling darkness? Darkness is a visual assessment. For the eyes to see, there must be light. So whatever darkness you report, I go there with a the light, then will it remain there? So is darkness there at all or not? No. <laughs> we are wonderful people, Baba. There is no ignorance at all. It is understanding of a very low level and degree. That's all. So this sloka you should learn. So I will make you recite it now. Dharma dharma u Sukham dukham Manasani Manasani Nate vibho Nate vibho Nakartasi Nakartasi Nabhoktasi Nabhoktasi Mukta evasi Mukta evasi Sarvada Sarvada You know how teaching is done? The whole sloka is first recited. After that, we make the listeners recite, recite it four times. So if I have taught you, Dharma, Dharma, O Sukham, Dukham. Dharma, Dharma, O Sukham, Dukham. Repeat. Dharma, Dharma, O Sukham, Dukham. Dharma, Dharma, O Sukham, Dukham. Hmm. Dharma, Dharma, O Sukham, Dukham. Four times. First we have recited one. Five times now. Then after concluding also once. So all together six times you will have repeated. Good students can learn it by that. Mm. Next day when you come to the class, again you are asked to stand up and recite. This is how teaching was done. The masters did not leave anything for homework or classwork. Everything was classwork. No homework at all. I know a student who is studying in London where the Queen of, uh, the Queen of Britain, her granddaughter also is studying. So I get the progress report and I start reading. This boy has got very good rating and mark, etc. So the manner in which they write the progress report, it's some marvel so far as I am concerned. How beautifully they write. So little children, they say, to the parents, don't teach them at all. We are not giving any homework. 
We want you to look after the children, feed them well and make them sleep. We will look after everything. This is how the teachers are saying. Can you imagine? They are allowed to play, climb trees. One of the best schools in Britain, in the world. So teaching should be such that the learning is irresistible. The learning is irresistible. So, dharma, dharma, sukham, dukham. Dharma, dharma, sukham, dukham. Manasani, nate vibho. Manasani, nate vibho. Nagartasi. Nagartasi. Nabhoktasi. Nabhoktasi. Muktayevasi sarvada. Mukta eva si sarvada Dharma dharma o sukham dukham Dharma dharma o sukham dukham Manasani na te vibho Manasani na te vibho Nakarta si na bhokta si Nakarta si na bhokta si Mukta eva si sarvada Mukta eva si sarvada See, I have made you do something which you would not have done otherwise. Samvedya varjitam anuttamam ekam adhyam Samvitpadam vikalanam kalayan mahatman Hridyeva tishtha kalanarehita kriyam tu Kurvan akartrapadam etya Samo Dida Shri Kurvan Akartrapadame Hitya Samo Dida Shri Let us have the conclusional Omkara. first be strengthened and fulfilled.